Hi, welcome along to another video. It's been a while, I thought it was good to take a break with regard to Michael J. Murphy. Very sad news, of course. Not going to go too in depth about that, but please be aware of information that goes around. It's about all we can say about it, really, isn't it? Um, there's already discrepancies to do with even the place he was born, according to an article. It's Illinois, according to someone else, according to someone else respected within the community. It's Pennsylvania, so straight away we've got two different states where his passing occurred. Definitely going to try and find um, the coroner's report. Been working on that, working out how to find it. Some are public, some are private, so we'll just see how we get on with that and hopefully report something back to you in the future. Until such time, let's focus on the good Michael did. Just focus on the good, focus on the documentaries he made, the information he gave to us, that hard information that we could share. We kind of all owe him something. Okay, getting into some news from July the 24th, the Manila Times, Isabella, corn farmers receive alternative livelihood. So this article is all about the government giving the public five chickens or ten chickens each in a certain area. Not an easy article for a vegan to read, but that would just be uh, off topic. So at the end of the article, the very last paragraph, after all this chicken information, the last paragraph, meanwhile, the DARF02 has started conducting cloud seeding areas that are suffering from lingering effects of the drought. From the Philippines government, Philippine news agency, Cagayan Valley cloud seeding to benefit 386,000 hectares. At least 386,000 hectares of drought hit rice and corn farms would benefit from the cloud seeding operations in the Cagayan Valley region and agriculture official said Friday from the Philippine Air Force on their website and it shows a newspaper article about cloud seeding with the Philippine Air Force being involved and you can have a look at that as always the links are in the information section of this video I forgot to say that didn't I Canada no rest for Alberta's cloud seeders in a summer of monster hailstorms the hailstorms that regularly batter Alberta each summer are increasing in frequency and intensity and likely will continue to do so in years to come, according to the director of the province's cloud seeding program. Well, you've been modifying the weather for a long time, Canada, yeah, so it's a bit hard to predict what weather you're going to get in the future now you've, along with everybody else, changed our weather. So in the Calgary Herald, from that story, there's a nice picture of pilot Brian Kindrat checks equipment on a plane used for cloud seeding at Springbank Airport west of Calgary. There you can clearly see all the flares on the wings, the pilot doing his thing, checking equipment, making sure the flares are going to flare. <laughs> Weather modification, eh? From the same article, this mentions the Alberta Severe Weather Management Society. The Society is a private, not-for-profit organisation created and fully funded by the province's insurance companies for the purposes of hail suppression and the reduction of property damage and insurance claims. So, just to say that in a different way, obviously I'm English, maybe I read it differently, but what it's saying is, is the Alberta Severe Weather Management Society, funded by the province's insurance companies, are modifying the weather to reduce insurance claims. That's another one to add to the list, isn't it? Makes sense, doesn't it? CBC, Cloud Seeders attempt to rescue hailstorm alley from storms by reducing size of hail. Planes take to the skies in attempt to reduce hail from size of golf ball to a pea, or potentially from the size of a golf ball to the size of a cricket ball, with the same effect, because you never know. So I mentioned before about David Keith's Harvard experiment, that was in the last round of news, in Clean Technica, from July the 24th, Harvard professors plan geoengineering experiment, igniting ethics debate. So, it's definitely going on, and it's ignited an ethics debate. <laughs> sure you all agree, there is absolutely no debate there. Climate engineering, weather modification, yeah, you don't really come up with a yes for that, do you? If you've got ethics, then your immediate response is, is no, that shouldn't be done. I do not consent to this. I do not want this. 
over to Dev Discourse, Discourse on Development, India, from the 27th of July. India only country with dedicated ministry addressing all aspects of earth sciences. So the organization MOES has launched an experiment to understand and document the merits and demerits of artificial rainmaking, cloud seeding, by conducting experiments with two aircraft in two years. This experiment has collected 234 samples of clouds to demonstrate the efficiency of cloud seeding. This kind of large-scale cloud seeding experiments is carried out by very few countries like the US. Via the Armenian reporter, Cambodia, drought dams on Mekong River drop Cambodia's Tonle Sap Lake to record low levels from July the 27th. Climate modification led to record low water levels on the Mekong River, according to specialists. Over to Billboard magazine, the entertainment uh, place, Lana Del Rey's Violet Poetry audiobook has arrived. I mentioned Lana Del Rey about a month ago, to do with the release of a new album of musical works, Chemtrails Over the Country Club. I think my new record, Chemtrails Over the Country Club, is special. So do we. So in a book about climate stuff, Lily Cole is being interviewed by someone about their new book and the interviewer says the book is incredibly factual and incredibly well researched not 80% your opinion and 20% fact it's the opposite which I love and the author there are many ideas around how to solve this climate crisis and that's what the book is trying to look at we need to try and create a dialogue between different voices rather than subscribe only to the opinions of certain individuals Earth itself is a good symbol, or even the universe, and the Earth's amazing position in space where we just have the right, weird combination of elements that allows life to exist. Since we have shown we are able, as a species, to start altering the elements of our environment, we have to be mindful about that geoengineering experiment. From the UK, University of Greenwich, in the Architects' Journal, 29th of July. Two students selected for the Architects Journal Student Prize by the University of Greenwich. You can see a picture there. I'll just explain to you what that is. <laughs> so the project title Monument to Diversion of Impending Environmental Disaster. So the architectural project description. The project investigates the architectural potential and impact of one solar geoengineering method currently being investigated to deal with the climate crisis. It tested the injection of sulphate compounds in the Earth's stratosphere, which could reduce the planet's temperature in a similar way to large volcanic eruptions, etc, etc. I know you all know how that works. And then there's the Tutor Citation. This project looks at a formidable idea in geoengineering, that of projecting sulphur compounds into the atmosphere to stop global warming. The sky will change, landscapes will alter and our architectures will decay in new ways. Luigi explores how this possible solution to climate change may be terrifying yet offer new architectural opportunities to explore climate engineering. Colorado In La Voz, Colorado's number one Hispanic owned bilingual publication, drought threatens southern Colorado. Colorado has endured drought, even prolonged droughts, and this season's won't be the last. One of the worst droughts on record occurred in the mid-70s, when lack of moisture became so serious that the state resorted to cloud seeding to hasten rainfall. It didn't work. Farmers and ranchers took a big hit, and so too did the ski industry. There were also serious droughts in 2002 and 2012. As you know, cloud seeding causes droughts. On March the 8th, 2017, no more cloud seeding and dust season may be nigh. We have a threshold for operating the cloud seeding program. If areas are above a certain percent as of a certain date, then we suspend cloud seeding. The concern is that if we run those generators, we add to flood risks. From the University of Colorado, Boulder, Cloud seeding aims to increase mountain snowfall, 
power generation from January the 13th, 2017. CU Boulder is participating in a cloud seeding effort launched this month to increase winter snowfall in the mountains of southwest Idaho with hopes of ultimately increasing power generation by hydroelectric dams. The research project, Snowy, is a joint project headed up by various organisations. You'll know all about Snowy or you can go and search for it on your favourite search engine. In the Denverite, January the 13th, 2017. Make it snow. These CU Boulder researchers are the latest Coloradans to try modifying the weather. Physics.org, January the 13th, 2017. Atmospheric scientists take to the skies to test cloud seeding for snow. It's Colorado, just so you know. Related. Aspen Daily News, December the 29th, 2016. Aspen is, is the future on snow making. In the history of their snowboarding and snowmaking article, in 1976-77 the first cloud seeding program is attempted to produce snow. So we know there are earlier examples, but you're looking at 50 years of modifying the weather in a place. So when you get to the stage of going, there's a drought and it's being caused by or it needs to be solved by, then really, how do you know? I mean, really? It's like you have to stop the weather modification, allow our planet to get back to normal, and then we'll see, won't we, if something's going on. Can't claim to be bringing the cure in the 21st century to something that was happening throughout the 20th century. You have to stop what you're doing from the 20th century, and then maybe you'll convince people, and maybe people like David Keith will convince people for the need of what they're talking about. You can't modify the weather globally, mess things up completely, and then in the 21st century say, oh yeah, there's this big climate crisis. We need to do this to sort it out. It doesn't work. Colorado, October the 15th, 2016. Cloud seeding in Grand County. There are currently two cloud seeding generators in Grand County. They have been in place since 2009. But it's La Nina, right? <laughs> Thanks for sticking with this week's video if you've stuck with it to the end. I have no idea how we got to the end here. Look after yourselves wherever you are. Be strong, be healthy. Try not to get too angry with the unassertive people, the non-responsive people. Some people are naturally submissive and don't have a way to respond. Whereas other people can be quite assertive and they do have a way to respond and do respond. Let's stick to what we know in the here and now based on what's happened and make sure that we get things sorted out in the future for a better place. See you next time.